Hi, this is Shadi, and today it's gonna be a face off between Japanese judo and Georgian judo, arguably the two most aesthetic and also monumental types of judo. We're gonna go through all the details when it comes to the stand up. This will not include Neiwaza, maybe somewhere in the future, but this time because there's just so much to unpack. When it comes to the stand up, the kumikata, the throwing, the types of throws, and why the, cho the choice of these particular uh, throws. So, these uh, two styles have, I would say, a lot in common and some differences, and we're gonna go through them in this uh, very uh, video. So, I've already talked about Georgian judo, I've already talked about Japanese judo, um, their differences in expression, I'm gonna go through in the details which will not just be a general discussion like I did with my uh, judo styles of uh, the world but this time I'm gonna go through the gripping, the choice of throws and also uh, compare similar throws done by both uh, judokas or both nations but uh, just showcase the differences in the expression because that's very important in my opinion so we're gonna go do three things. The first one is examine the grippings and the origins of the grippings. The two is signature uh, throws and finally, like I said, common throws between uh, the two. So let's start with the grips of Japanese Judo. Japanese Judo is what is called the classical uh, Judo sleeve and lapel basically for all the classical throws like Uchimata, Seoenage and uh, Osotogari or Uchigari mainly um, Teiwaza and Ashiwaza, but um, if you notice all the judokas, whether it is from the old ones like Koga, um, like Yamashita, uh, Inoue, and many others, they all mainly relied on the sleeve and the lapel. Um, there is also the second grip that they also employ in case it is a, the same stance opponent, and that is the um, basically the lapel and the armpit grip which really prevents your opponent from having a dominant grip over your back here you see in a way having uh, a, a gi and i'm sorry the lapel and armpit grip as he uh, throws with uchimata it's a monumental uchimata here's he does it again with uh ochigari uh, we have ono we're gonna see it later in a bit uh, utilizing the same grip of the armpit and the um, lapel uh, grip so it is mainly very uh, simple but yet uh, in my opinion uh, very complex in or in terms of really keeping your opponent immobilized and having an established and dominant grip from the sleeve and the lapel um, here you see in a way still doing his thing with the uh, uh, armpit and also lapel because his opponent is right-handed as him so in order to prevent like I said a dominant grip over the shoulder and really breaking the posture the, he would rather put his arm on the armpit to really push him and create some distance rather than grabbing the sleeve and it can be uh, as you see here a sleeve grip but very close to the armpit in order to really uh, control his uh, opponent and not having his uh, stance basically dominated so uh, in short it is the sleeve and the lapel and the armpit and uh, lapel grip great examples is Kosei Inoue and of course Shohei Ono now let's switch to Georgian grippings the obvious is the um, Georgian arm is the uh, how do you say the elephant in the room but nonetheless people like uh, Lipartigliani, Chirkishvili and many others utilize the um, the basic sleeve and the lapel but mainly the uh, they often also resort to the what is called the Georgian arm which is a cross uh, grip down the back so it is not the same side as the lapel like in Japanese but it is cross and also around the shoulder down the back and it traces its roots to the Chidaoba wrestling which we're gonna see in a bit so um, it is either sleeve and lapel like uh, Lipartigliani, Chikisvili and the modern uh, Georgian judokas as you see here like very like Uchimata, Makikomi um, so 
obviously like i said it traces its uh, georgian roots to chidaoba wrestling i'm talking about the georgian grip uh because since there's no sleeve um the uh, georgian grip is very good for choices throws like uh, the soto makikomi since the arm is already on the other side so it's very easy to just wrap it around you as you see here and go for it so that's uh mainly it uh, you can uh, trace the grip his origins into their uh, folk style wrestling the chida oba wrestling here you see the georgian grip being uh, uh empl employed very great example for soto makikomi um which is which like how do you say in return uh explains their choice for makikomi which we're gonna see later in the uh, signature uh throws so uh, in short, it is mainly the uh, sleeve and lapel, and of course the Georgian arm, the deep Georgian uh, arm. Now, let's move over to the signature uh, throwing, and of course first we start with Japanese uh, Judo. So, Japanese Judo, obviously there's a lot of throws, but in my opinion the main ones that really express the type of Judo that they do, uh, mainly the standing Seoenage, like uh, reminiscent of Koga, and here you see Masahi Ebinuma just doing it very swiftly. Uh, there is some strength, obviously they're very strong, they have very big forearms, they train very heavy weights, but uh, it really allows them to have this very swift uh, technique as they go in and go and grab for that ippon uh, it might seem that there's no strength involved but the way they go in like here joshiro mariyama which is the second technique of course it is the uchimata um you see he just glides into his uchimata from the sleeve and lapel uh grip and really uh explains this like picturesque uh, swift ippon judo that the japanese are always uh, after so um the choice of throws also really uh, demonstrates their philosophy when it comes to their expression of their judo in my opinion uh uchimata seoenage standing seoenage like koga and uh, masahi ebinuma are great choices uh, and here Uchimata you see it uh, in a way also very reminiscent Shohei Ono there are multiple examples but mine happens to be mainly in a way and uh, Maruyama so the third one is Osotogari in my opinion uh, it is to remind them that they are still strong not just swift and elegant but also we are very strong and dominant as well a uh, great example of uh, Osotogari is Shohei Ono and of course uh, Kose in a way back uh, in the day this is one arguably one of the greatest Osotogari produced by Shohei Ono uh, with the uh, if you notice the underarm and lapel grip so moving to Ju uh, to Georgian Judo the obvious one is of course the Uranage the monumental uh, beautiful uh, Uranage with an upward trajectory really showcasing not only technical accuracy but also beautiful strength and dominance so you see Aftantil Chirkishvili said that um, with the removal of the leg grabs um, Chidaoba wrestling became 90% like judo so and also uh, continued to say that we are very strong and we are very proud of our strength and we want to show it and rightfully so because if you have this uh, sound technique and also added with strength your technique can only come out picturesque and just absolutely gorgeous and to be remembered and documented as we see here so uh, like i very similar you have the swift but also very monumental and picturesque technique that is in japanese and georgian judo both are strong but also both are swift but the georgian in my opinion tends to really show off his strength more in my opinion the second one is of course the cabarelli or the georgian pickup also known in japanese as yagura nage um but also found in the chidaoba uh, wrestling because like the gripping almost uh, like a clinch grip because like if you remember the chidaoba does not have any sleeves to hold on to so mainly the torso grips like around the neck the back the shoulders um and also deep down the back with like a hug will really uh be useful for uh yaguranage or the cabarelli so um you can see why the choice of technique not only for expression but also the roots 
of these uh, like folk style wrestling and also Japanese roots in the choice of techniques. And the third one that I already mentioned because of the Chidao wrestling having no sleeve, um, the resort to the Soto Makikomi very strong but also very much uh, like technically sound which makes it very beautiful to look at so uh, it's a wise choice since there's no sleeve you can easily grab the wrist uh, and just go for it like they just send their opponent flying off in a very like aesthetic manner uh, great judo the Georgian judo and finally Let's check out a common throw and see how they both uh, depict it uh, a bit differently. We're going to look at the Uranage in particular. So let's look at uh, Koji Komuro's Uranage. Uh, it looks like a, almost like, how do you say, a uh, Tanya Otoshi entry, like a Jigotai stance and just bumps his hip and sacrifices himself backwards. There's no upward and uh, big uh, trajectory lift like the Georgians but nonetheless it is very swift I would say it is uh, it uses far less strength um, here you see him in the veteran world championship with which he won um, here you see it uh, just opens up the hips and does like a very close jigotai stance which really allows him to project his uh, opponent backward let's take a look at Shohei Ono against Anne same thing uh, Shigotai, very low stance and just explodes with his hip forward which allows him to sacrifice himself backwards. Uh, there's no upward big trajectory but nonetheless it is very beautiful. I would say if you want to, if you are very weak in the Georgian version, I, I'd suggest you start with the Japanese version. It can always do you good. Um, so the uh, Georgian way of doing Uranage is if you see uh, Chikishvili, he puts his legs uh, like in one straight line and uh, really explode up and then jumps and just look at him he jumps he like he lifts off with his opponent and really turns backwards which uh, makes like a very huge and big monumental uh, Uranage I sparred once with a uh, Georgian we're now good friends he took me for a Uranage uh, Luckily, at the last second, I turned around and landed on my torso, but nonetheless, it was still the ride of my life, and we are friends ever since. So, uh, that was mainly it. Uh, if you have anything else to add, uh, please feel free to uh, let me know down below. This is a very, uh, in my opinion, deep discussion about these two styles of judo, both very strong, but both demonstrating they're elegant in a different manner the Japanese that just glides in uh, like really having a, like hidden strength behind his Uchimata but also showing it off in his uh, Osotogari uh, his Uranage is like a, also swift and showing technical accuracy but the Georgians really like to show off like their big monumental throws they are very technically sound and also they are very strong because when you see someone doing a strong technique with uh, with zero like technical development it will look absolutely horrendous one great example is those old Moro Tegari so if you have anything else to add let me know down below also please check out Josh Simon's shop of uh, historical t-shirts and also historical articles if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was Shady and thank you for listening